Hello, type to see here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to blur an image in InDesign. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I created a rectangle tool frame right here and inserted an image. Let's say I want to blur the edges of this image. We can actually do that in a really simple way. So normally you would actually use Photoshop to blur images, but it is also possible to do it in InDesign. So to blur an image in InDesign, we first want to select it. So do that by just select the image or click on it. And from here we want to go up to the top bar right here. And you can see that if you go over to this section, we got three of these icons right here. We got the ap apply effect to object. We got drop shadow and we got add an object effect to the selected target. And this is actually what we'll be using in this video. There's of course different ways of doing this. I'll just be showing you one way. So if you click on this effects icon right here, you get all of these options. From here you just want to choose basic feather right here. And you can see that this effect panel will show up. Right now the basic feather is applied because we selected that and make sure you have preview on so you can see what you are doing. So in this basic feather, there is these options right here and we got the feather width, which is this one. And that is the most important one. So if you press on this arrow up right here, look what happens with the image now. Every time I click, it will be a bit more blurred in the edges. So we can actually just set this to whatever we would like. And if you set it up high, it would be much blur. And you can just choose how blur you want this image to be. So we can go up to 10 right here. Let's say this looks fine for now. Make sure the choke is set to zero and the noise is set to zero as well. And you can just play around with the corners right here and choose whatever you would like. There is the sharp, the rounded. You can see that we are getting round corners right here. What I typically use is just this diffused right here. But that is totally up to you. So when that is set, just press OK. Just like this. And if we choose preview mode, we can see that we have now a blurred image. You can also try to just give this a background color so we can see it a little better. Just give this a red color right here. And send it to the back. And we can see how it works on the background as well. If you want to change the effect, you can always just select the image again and go the same places, choose the FX icon right here, go to basic feather. And the changes we made before is saved. You can just keep working where you left off. So let's say we want to blur this image even more. Just set this up just like this. And let's give it some rounded corners. We can also use that by going to corners and choose rounded and just press OK. So yeah, that is actually one way of blurring an image in InDesign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.